Welcome to my little guide for creating jungle trees for tabletop games like RPGs and war games. Today we're going to start with some 16 gauge galvanized steel wire, twisting it to form the core armatures of our jungle trees. This sturdy skeleton is going to give our trees the necessary strength and shape. Next, we thicken these armatures. We wrap them with aluminum foil, adding volume and texture. Occasionally, we use hot glue to tack the foil onto the wire, ensuring that it will stay in place. For the roots, we're going to carve out small bases of XPS foam and attach them with hot glue. This gives our trees a grounded, lifelike appearance. And now, for one of the fun parts, adding some texture. We apply a layer of hot glue directly onto the tree. Using our glue gun, we're creating bark-like texture, carefully crafting each detail. We're also drawing intricate root patterns on all the bases using the same method. My little trick to eliminate unwanted hot glue strings is a quick pass with a kitchen torch. That does the trick of cleaning up our work. And for that lush jungle vibe, we're separating some strands of jute twine to represent vines, draping them over the tree and wrapping them around the trunk, a bit of hot glue here and there, and they're securely attached. This time around, priming was a challenge. I took it in three steps. First, a coat of Liquitex paint. I used blue because that's what I had and it doesn't melt the foam base. Next, I did a layer of black paint and PVA glue. This is just intended to strengthen everything and hold all the vines in place. It's really gonna harden everything up nicely. And lastly, I sprayed everything with a can of cheap black spray paint for just a uniform finish. We're starting with an overbrush of brown all over everything. Then we're gonna add patches of dark green, followed by patches of medium green. We dry brush the entire tree with a light celery colored green and then finish everything off with a subtle highlight of cream. And now for the foliage. We're gonna start by attaching dark polyfill to the branch tips using some rubber cement. Then we add another layer of rubber cement to the polyfill part and dip that in a mixture of ground up woodland scenics clump foliage prepared in a coffee grinder earlier. This technique adds a rich natural density to the leaves. To solidify the foliage, we immerse the trees in watered down PVA glue ensuring longevity. Finally, we're going to decorate the base. We add moss flocking, a few pieces of plastic plants, and some more clump foliage for a truly immersive look. And there you have it. Let's take a moment to admire our handcrafted jungle trees with some glamour shots. For those of you who prefer a more in-depth experience, I've also created a longer unscripted version of this tutorial. It's a real-time walkthrough of the entire crafting process. Check it out and let me know which format you prefer, the quick and concise or the detailed and unhurried. Your opinion helps me tailor my content to what you enjoy the most.